I'm having chapatis and some liver. This is uh, the food that I was having yesterday, and these are just some leftovers. And then I just bought some chapatis. I wish I could cook chapatis like this, but yeah, <laughs> I can't. So I just went and bought from like a local shop. But yeah, this food is really, really nice. Am I the only one who likes food? Wakati melala, it tastes so much better. I want to wear this blazer and uh, black jeans, black bag, black bodysuit, and black shoes. But they really, really love this blazer. So just bear with me. It's one of my favorite. And uh, yeah, and I want to put on black shoes. I literally want to put all black. It's a bit chilly outside. But I'm going to show you the full fit once I'm ready. So let's do that. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is on Monday. And I'm quite proud of myself for starting a vlog on Monday. This has never happened. I hope everybody is doing well. So today I want to go to Garden City. Yeah, I have a few errands that I want to do there. And of course, I'm going to take you along with me. I haven't been to Garden City for a while. Yeah, it has been quite a while by the way. Like this whole year since Afrika Uko. So I'm quite excited. And then I also have a few things that I need to do in town. But so Nashindo, should I go to Garden City first? And then to Malaysia at all, I might start with town. And then to Malaysia at Garden City. I'm thinking I start with town because obviously in Apitia Hapo. And then at least Nikenda Garden City, I'll not be in a hurry to go back. To go back. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. Also, I don't know what to do with my hair. Honestly, I don't know what to do with my hair. I've been thinking I relax it, but there was a time nilikuwa nime relax na ikakatika. And I had to shave. Yes, they, there was a time that I had shaved my head. <laughs> yeah, I was looking ridiculous. But Sasa, honestly, but I'm thinking I just do braids. Yeah, no more braids. I don't know if I'll do the braids quite vlog because this week I have a lot of things that I need to do. On Wednesday, I have like a breakfast date with a very good friend of mine. I'm so excited. I'm so pumped about that uh, date. So, so you can't have a time you can get your honestly. So, yeah, please don't don't mind when you're in a car. We, we always, we sometimes have those bad hair days and today is one of those days. So, yeah, let me flip. But then, do you know what? Nilikuwa ni muambia na jacket and nilikuwa na stripes. I've changed my mind. Yeah. That's how indecisive I am. <laughs> and I don't even know why I changed my mind but i feel like this jacket is more cuter let me flip the camera and show you and then we head out all right you guys so this is the outfit that i've settled on black jeans black converse black bodysuit i told you that i wanted to put on black on black on black and then this red uh cropped jacket that i absolutely love i'm so glad that i actually settled for this jacket and then this is the bag that i am carrying at least ni sikuwa nabeba like the same thing every time what wana shanga kwa new day mananga bag zingine so yeah uh and i feel like this one goes looks better with this outfit and then but then have you guys noticed how my nails are looking crazy Annie, i can't believe that i'm confidently working with these nails looking like this but i am kipata time to tengeneza so yeah that's my full fit Let's head out. I wish I had someone to take a picture of me. Like, yeah, actually. I don't know how to take a picture. I don't know how to but yeah. Let's um, head out.
What the fuck you waiting for? Yeah, it's a lot of niggas hate, and I don't entertain it. But damn, you gotta give me more. Hey, you guys. So I'm just done with the errands, and I'm still at Garden City. I just ordered a milkshake. Because I was so tired. I'm kind of feeling full. I had a very heavy lunch, <laughs> my breakfast, when I left home. So now it's just thirsty and I wanted something sweet. I actually ordered um, Oreo milkshake, which they didn't have. So I settled for strawberry, a strawberry one. And it's pretty nice. I'm actually shocked. It's thick. It's literally like the ice cream for Kakata was there from Azio. So yeah, I just want to finish up and then I head home. So yeah, that's what's up. Today I'm having rice and beans and I just wanted to show you this avocado because what it looks so so good what this is so clean any avocado emenda Oxford yo <laughs> um, yeah I just wanted to show you my dinner So I just um, finished. Wow, why is this so dark? Yeah, that's better. I just finished filming the intro that I had mentioned earlier. And then I just remember that there's something I wanted to tell you guys. So I was on TikTok today in the morning. Yeah, that's what I do immediately when I wake up. I know that's not a good habit. I'm going to change. I promise. But I was like going through TikTok and I came across this video and the lady was saying how like she has stopped watching Kenyan YouTubers because she doesn't find them relatable anymore and a lot of people in the comments were agreeing and they were like mentioning names they're saying oh Kwanza this one and this one I used to watch them but now I don't find them relatable anymore and I don't know that th that statement made me I had conflicted feelings like um i wasn't agreeing with what a lot of people were saying because i don't know it's because i saw it from a creator point of view and then they were commenting from a viewer's point of view because as a creator 
and you're on this platform on youtube i know by now everyone knows that people earn money on youtube and of course with the views comes a lot more revenue so my point was if you start watching me now and now i don't get like a lot of views obviously and i don't get a lot of revenue you might find me relatable now because i'm not showing this lavish lifestyle and then once i grow and the views start rolling in the revenue increases and now i start showcasing a different lifestyle because now of course i have the money and now you find me i'm not relatable anymore and i'm wondering so do people just want like if you have a creator you just want them to be stagnant like however you found them you don't want them you don't want to see them grow just because you find them relatable and you're expecting them to always be relatable to you like i just had conflicted feelings with it comment down below and tell me what you think like i don't understand that statement what does it even mean to be relatable what does it mean to be relatable to someone because for me the reason why i watch um, my favorite creators is because i want to be motivated i want to be inspired and i also want to live the life they are living at that particular time yeah so motivation inspiration and i also all also want to be in the space they are in like one day i want to be like them so i've actually never watched anyone who i might consider is relatable because i don't even understand what being relatable is i feel like when people say they are not relatable it means the lifestyle they are living is not the same as the person who's watching you do you get what i'm saying like for example if i say so and so is relatable their content is relatable it means their content is their lifestyle is the same level as mine and that's why i find them relatable at least that's what i understand by the word relatable which might not be the case comment down below and tell me what being relatable actually means because i guess i don't watch any youtuber when any relatable me watch people me watch youtubers when i want my life i want my life to also be like their life one day you know like i'll see someone traveling and i'm like you know what i would actually love to travel like just oh my god i don't even know how to explain like if you if i see a youtuber with like uh, designer bags and i'm like oh my god i would like for one day to also own such designer bags i would also one day like to work with certain brands you know so i don't know that statement was a bit conflicting and i was like does it mean that people just want you to be stagnant and that you'll never grow it's interesting it's interesting that um once you grow on this platform people now find you unrelatable oh she's unrelatable Mm, she just gives me pre and then th this is another thing like what people are kind of say oh oh youtuber nani panga pressure like mbona unapoa pressure na mtu baby i really don't understand do you know that you can actually block someone from you can actually block block <laughs> you can actually block um a channel from appearing uh on your for you page what i need a for you page especially on youtube so why you una poor pressure jinam to because they are living their life like if you see something and it, it makes you feel some type of way just block them you don't have to watch someone when you're funny you feel but just block someone so um, it's interesting cuz sasa watu wakisema oh you this so and so ananipanga pressure so and so ananipanga pressure and akupea pressure aje and they probably don't even know that you exist why are you even watching them if wana kupea pressure why are you still watching them any human beings are so funny why are you watching someone and are a pressure me for me honestly me see people pressure na mtu i love my life na nikiona mtu mwingine and their life seems so much better yeah that's what i aspire to be i see it from an inspirational point of view i don't see it as a yeah oh you mtu naye ana ringa sijui no i'm like you know what if she can actually do it i can also do it you know so i see it as an inspiration so yeah th those are just my two cents the next day um hey you guys welcome back to another day of uh this vlog how's everybody doing today it's such a sunny day outside i love sunny days and that's why i want to do some laundry as you can see 
in the back uh so yesterday i had mentioned that i was going to town i was actually going to to mm, at the rivers i was going to garden city and then kapitia tao i happened to go to dubois and i got myself a few things they're just earrings but they're actually cute at least that's what i think so i want to quickly show you and then yeah let me set you up nimonyesha what i got from dubois um all right you guys please don't mind that i'm still in my pjs they're just comfortable <laughs> and i just want to stay with them the whole day anyway so the first thing i got are some uh fake nails and this is how they look like these are going for a hundred shillings and there are 12 pieces um yeah i think they are looking pretty cute i want to put them on and see how they work because i'm all about saving coins ziki couple i'll be doing these ones but i'll still need to go to the salon in the old name and fix i feel like that will look a bit better than when i put them on myself and yeah hopefully i'll save some coins because usually i spend a thousand but since i have mine nazisha they're already like they are just ready it's just like sticking them on hopefully at an elipisha um an affordable price another thing that i got are some say what what's the name of these things hair clips actually yeah hair clips and they look like these actually they are so pretty and now that i have my hair out i feel like this will, these ones will look they'll come in handy so much yeah that's how they look like yeah they are going for 319 for four pieces now the other thing that i got that i was so happy about are some earrings and they're like different types i love them so so much and then the other thing that i got also some earrings by the way this is how these ones look like okay, i love these ones i feel like these ones are my favorite so in the basket and then you put them on like this like there are so many ways of putting them on and then these ones are just toppers but they are pearl and i in a couple by the way you can also like put them on like this like there are so many designs on the ziva heavy yeah like this yeah i love them i'm planning to to arrange the earrings yeah i got this thing from me so i think another vlog and it's actually nice because now you can arrange all the things Things, your earrings na hazita potia yeah nisha zipanga hapa you also want to put zivitu hapa and i love that all of them are like golden color zinaka hapa sana by the way so yeah even the nime zipanga obviously my collection is lacking like <laughs> these are literally the only earrings that i own this is depressing but we're going to work on this collection i can't even remember the shop that i bought these things from the thing is ukena du boys the tip i can give you is don't buy things from the first second or third shop and ukondani the the farthest shops they always have better prices than easy zaukumbele because they assume everyone at a buy from the first shops so the prices are a bit different so ukitaka buy from the other shops then you go from shop with the earrings the three pairs is equal 250 the nails were going for a hundred shillings and the these other earrings as well is equal 100 these ones they were also a hundred shillings so yeah that was a good price i didn't spend a lot guys i need to edit i need to clean my house yeah need today's work is a lot guy but anyway let me get started with other things and then we will catch up later so i just finished cleaning the house and i'm so tired but i'm just happy that um i'm done with the chores uh these are my clothes that i want to go and hang now for me and enda because he hung rooftop and we have like seven floors i'm not looking forward to that <laughs> but even my kitchen is clean the house is also clean everything is clean and i am so happy every time i see this bucket you are empty 
I get so this is actually makeup. Can you believe it? This is makeup. <laughs> this is crazy. But anyway, every time I see this um basket if you are empty, I feel so happy because that means that I've washed all my clothes. So by the time it dies ten now, it will be a week or two weeks. But yeah. I'm happy about that. Let me go and hang the clothes. Um, I'm watching uh, Vampire Diaries. I love this show. I've watched it like three, four times now. And I just started it again. Nico season one, episode six. And it's so cold outside. And I'm just done with work. And I thought, let me just watch my comfort show. Also, I finally bought a TV guard for those who kept telling me to buy one so that i can like protect my tv i finally got one and i am excited <laughs> so guys you see i listen i listen to you guys several days later That's why I 